and last month's storm aftermath still lies on the streets in the town of Atlantic. The community now faces a new challenge, restoring a sense of normalcy with what they say is little state support. News 12's Biliana Garland has the details on the extent of the debris. The storm in Atlantic has left its mark, with the sides of the streets still cluttered with debris about a month later. The community and a Carteret County Commissioner are asking the state for assistance, but they say their request is falling on deaf ears. Patricia Smith lived in her home for 57 years. Storm cleanup is the last thing she wants to worry about. We're still waiting for the state or whoever. We need help to get this debris up. People cannot do this. This is a community of older people. An eyesore sitting on the side of the road waiting for a state pickup truck that has yet to return. We pay our taxes like everyone else and I feel like it shouldn't still be here. We should have help. Carteret County Commissioner Chris Chadwick says the state DOT brought their equipment to clean up the day after the storm last month. But after a couple days, they left. And here we are with this mess left to be cleaned up. He says there's enough debris left to fill about 50 truckloads. These are all state roads, so it's the state's responsibility to pick this debris up. He called the governor and other state officials, but has not heard back. Becky Siren, whose roof was blown off by the storm, says the community kickstarted the major cleanup. I do think we're overlooked at times. I do. It's everywhere, and it, this has gone into the fourth week. While Becky's debris was cleared, she says it can be dangerous for drivers when the branches are stacked up high on the sides of the road. The community urges the state to come back and finish what they started. It's kind of hard to be positive and say, well, this is how it should be. We'll take care of it ourselves. No, we can't. We need your help. We need the state. The Atlantic community come together to tackle the cleanup process, but questions still remain about the level of support they can expect moving forward. In Atlantic, Carteret County, Biliana Garland, News 12.